Uh, my name is Jacob Irving. I'm the president of the Canadian Hydropower Association. We represent the hydropower developers from across Canada. Canada is blessed with hydropower. We are one of the cleanest and most renewable electricity systems in the world. 60% of our electricity comes from hydropower. And as large as we are, we can still grow. We can more than double our current installed capacity. We're the third largest generator in the world, and we can more than double still in size. So we offer a lot of clean, renewable energy, not only to Canada, but we're also an exporter to the United States, and we have the ability to act as a battery to the United States in its pursuit of new clean energy. We have the ability to back up wind power in the US, and we've actually pursued some uh, arrangements in that regard. So we're actually, I believe, a solution both to Canadian, US, and together North American energy issues, clean energy issues. I think one of the biggest reasons is because we can act as an enabler for US clean renewable energy. The US has a lot of uh, wind power potential. It has a lot of its own hydropower potential as well. Canada has large storage hydropower potential, uh, and that is remarkable, considering uh, that across North America and the United States, there's not as much new large storage hydropower potential. In Canada, we have quite a bit. So we're able to more than double. And what large storage hydropower potential gives you is a battery backup for variable renewable sources of energy. So this is a very important uh, grid stabilizing uh, feature that we can offer. And it's something that I think that the United States uh, should be very interested in. And it's something that I also know the United States is very interested in. In Minnesota and Manitoba recently, uh, arrangements have been made where new wind power in Minnesota and North Dakota will be enabled by water power from Manitoba, or will essentially act as the battery backup for that. And so you'll have new clean renewable energy being backed up by clean renewable energy. And so this is the, the, the type of thing that we offer, I think, to the United States. And overall, giving us the chance to increase energy security from a continental perspective, and also uh, providing more clean renewable energy on a continental basis. With electricity, you must always meet demand. You can't have interruptions. And the difficulty with variable sources of uh, renewable power is when the wind stops blowing, the power stops being made. And so you need something to kick in behind it to back it up instantaneously. Hydropower can do that. And one of the things about hydropower still, of all the different types of electricity sources of generation, we are the most dispatchable. You can turn us on and off more quickly than any other source. And it's simple when you think about it. You open a gate, you put water through, you run the turbine, you're making electricity almost instantly. And then if you need to shut it off because the winds come back on again, you close the gate, you stop making electricity. And so we're one of the most perfect backups you can imagine for wind, for the, for the variability. And we're also clean and renewable. Our greenhouse gas profile for Canadian hydropower, we, are, we have just as low greenhouse gas emissions, if not lower than wind power on a full life cycle basis. So it's clean renewable, working with clean renewable to bring on new supply. Um, generally what, what's known is whenever you bring on new hot power generation of any source, it's usually more expensive than what was built 5, 10, 15 years ago. So I mean, everyone knows that. New power generation by definition is usually more expensive than old power generation. But what Hydro offers in particular is stability. What we're able to do is, because we don't have a volatile fuel source, uh, we have a stable, renewable water through the hydrological system. We are able to accurately, quite accurately predict how much energy we're able to make uh, over the course of many years. And that gives us the ability to pursue long-term power purchase agreements with customers. And so in a Minnesota case, when we sell power, we're able to do contracts that will last for a good long time when we provide a stable price and predictability. And when you have a stable price and predictability as a backbone, well then from there you can bring on more variable sources and do more things. So really, outside of sort of any price um, uh, 
considerations, we provide long-term stable power at a stable price, which is kind of provides the baseline to the song you're trying to create. Canadian Hydropower already backs up the U.S. system, and Canadian Hydropower can do even more to clean up North American electricity and to bring on greater stability in electricity as well. It's a great partnership and we need more of it.